One of the reasons I wanted to open business was I'd always worked in hospitality and it was just time to do it for myself. When we opened on day one, I had no idea what it was going to be like or whether or not we'd still be here. But from the beginning, I think the Peachy Terrace community really accepted Scout or just encouraged it. So the building itself had been empty for 16 years, so they were really ready for something and to have them embrace us the way they did was just everything. It enabled us to sort of get the ball rolling, get going. At Scout, it's a bit more than good food and good coffee. We've definitely made that the basis of sort of service, but we also try as much as possible to inject as much sustainable practices into our day-to-day -day running of the cafe as we can. We're selling the reusable coffee cups, and we try as much as possible to use local produce and also any produce that's in season. And we've got a really good relationship with our fruit and veg supplier, Vasily. We can communicate with him really easily about what's going on at the markets, what we should get in, what we should put on the menu. So we try to change the menu every three months so we can always make sure everything's really in season and fresh. And then adding on other things like lovely raw local honey. It's really been really popular. So Dad's always had bees and then he sort of had so much honey for a while and said, do you want to sell it in the cafe? And I, was, I thought it was perfect. So we've been selling it here for about two years. Owning your own business is Definitely the most challenging thing I've ever done, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It gives you so much more freedom to grow and, and learn. You're making all the decisions yourself. I feel really proud, really grateful. I sort of am living the life that I wanted with my own business and a successful cafe, and it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me.